Jaden Smith, in that great speech she gave, talked about that moment after appeal when Michelle O'Neill and Mary Lou MacDonald stood like two cheshire cats with triumphant grins on their faces, proclaiming the North is next, before they rushed over to Westminster to ask the British government to impose abortion on the North. And as Bernie says, the shoe is on the other foot now. Abortion is legal in the North, but Roe is overturned, and it's our turn to say the North is next. Hey! And here's a poster that should replace that picture, because Chucky or law, our law will come. Our legislation will come, and the time will come when the legislation introduced by this government, which killed unborn babies in this country, will also be gone and good riddance to it. A greeny ushla, a cord of grail, Thomas and Shaw and you, let Dokus, let Duhlan, let Nyartan agree, our son the Baha, our son the Firina. Our son the Tira, the Gok Yanov, the Gok Mohir, Mar Shasimut and Fold and Nish August Gabrok. We, we are here today not just in celebration, but in defiance, with hope in our hearts, for the right to life, for the courage to tell the truth, to reclaim this country that we love, for every baby, for every mother. Because we are not for turning. Because we will always stand for life. And because together, as envisaged by the fact that we gather here in our thousands yet again, we will mend this broken culture. We are here for a better future, for a better Ireland. For an Ireland that will turn, just as Roe v. Wade has been overturned, to the values that sustained us once as a people. The values that told us to cherish every child equally, to love every mother and every child. Because here is the truth. No law, no vote, no referendum can ever make it right to kill a helpless child. And Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade is overturned, not because of the Supreme Court, but because of the power of perseverance, the power of keeping the path lit and the flame alive, because of the unshakable certainty that we have that abortion has no place in a civilized society, in a, soci in a society that complains, claims compassion or mercy. And that's because... As surely as the arc of history bends towards justice, we will make abortion history. <laughs> and what we need to mend this broken culture is not just hope, but defiance. It is the defiance that Christ showed when he healed the sick on the Sabbath day, and when he defied the kingdom of Caesar with the kingdom of God. It is the defiance that you show today when you come in your thousands, with your families and your children, mothers, fathers, grannies, daddos, young and old from every corner, with that defiance in your heart that says, we will not be silenced, not now, not ever, as long as we live and breathe, we will oppose abortion and demand better for our mothers and babies. Yeah. It is the defiance that Pierce spoke of, of the dream that we hold in our hearts and that only the heart can hold. It is the defiance we show to the political establishment which claims to, show, to support women and then leaves the same women without any real choices. The establishment that tells the women of Ireland to flush the little broken bodies of their unborn babies down the toilet. 21,000 babies have been flushed down the toilet if we are to follow the instructions of the HSE. 21,000 babies thrown into this generation's equivalent, equivalent of a septic tank. For shame, for shame, we can do better than that cruelty. And, and we are doing better and we will. You 
heard today from the pro-life heroes who work every day on the front line, who every day save a baby from the cruelty of abortion, who every day offer women hope and love and real support, who build a better world rather than tearing it down. And we know that nothing in God's green earth is bettered by the killing of a child. We know that an Ireland that is truly compassionate will always offer a better answer than abortion. And from that love and that hope and that defiance comes this promise that we make today. Roe has been overturned. Ireland will follow, no matter the battle. No matter the battle, however hard the fight, life will win. So we say to Stephen Donnelly, on behalf of the 723,000 people who voted no, that we haven't gone away, you know, that we will hold you to account, that we will not accept a so-called abortion review that whitewashes the devastation of 21,000 dead babies, that ignores the horror of late-term abortion happening in Ireland, and that allows some doctors Doctors who should be struck off the medical register, by the way, to bully parents into abortion when their baby has a disability. Shame on them. We have a message for this entire government. We will not allow you to break your promise to reluctant yes voters who you bullied into supporting repeal with our promises of safeguards and abortion being rare and restrictions. And our campaign throughout this summer will say the three-day waiting period must stay. We will hold you to that. So we go forward in defiance of all that is cruel about this abortion law and in defiance of its well-funded apologists, we go forward in hope and with the knowledge that in time, we will once more again make Ireland abortion-free. Gurumila Magay!